Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Chris, the Camping Texan here. Where in the world is the GeoPro? This week, we're set up at Eisenhower State Park. This is campsite number 63. Well, good morning, y'all. I'm so glad you could join me out at the campsite this morning. I'm just taking a walk out here on this cool, crisp October morning. The fall is my favorite time of year, y'all. I sure did enjoy my trip over to Bonham State Park. That was such a fun park. There's so much CCC character over there. Y'all really got to get over and check it out. But y'all, I'm over here at Eisenhower State Park for a couple of days. Uh, this park's located in Denison, Texas, and it's the birthplace of our president, Dwight D. Eisenhower. So while you're here, you can go check out his home. Uh, y'all, as the story goes, the state of Texas purchased this land from the U.S. Department of the Army, the Corps of Engineers, in 1954. It took them four years to build the park out, and they officially opened in 1958. Well, y'all stick around, and I'll show you Eisenhower State Park. Well, y'all, let me show you around the campsite. So this is the Bodark Camping Loop. All the campsites here are pull-throughs and full hookups. It doesn't get any better than that, y'all. This is 63, no issues with the services, water and sewer, um, and electric, all hooked up quite nice, 20, 30, 50 amp electric. Now on this street, y'all, on this particular part of the loop, there are four park host sites. That's quite a bit, but let me tell you, they're all extremely friendly, they're nice, um, and they're, they're maintaining order in the campground, which is cool. Now, what I love about this site, I'll get into my what I really love, and then we'll talk about what, what's not so good uh, here in a moment, is this view. So if you look through these trees into this meadow, every afternoon and early morning, you guys can see, uh, you can see deer. They, they cross through this meadow into that tree line back there. So if you stay here in 63, make sure that, that you're sitting out here with your coffee in the morning or just relaxing in the evening and watch for deer. We've seen a lot of deer here at this park and they love to come through this, this area. So that, that's a bonus for you for this site. I love the trees and the shrubs, uh, the bushes and stuff like that. It really provides a lot of, a lot of privacy within the campsite. It makes you feel uh, secluded and separated from the other campsites. Uh, amenity wise guys you get in-ground grill and firing we had a burn ban this weekend so containerized fuel only for us but hopefully when you come it won't be that way aluminum picnic table on a concrete pad uh, we provided our own awning since there's no shade shelter over the picnic table and then you get a, a lantern pole with a double hook there a lot of yard space um, I don't feel constrained at all within this campsite. There's a lot of area for you to bring your dogs, your children to play, throw a, fr a frisbee, a ball, or what have you. Um, it's a large enough campsite to accommodate your needs. The, the pad itself, y'all, is huge. You can get any size rig in here. Class A, fifth wheel, it doesn't matter. Um, now, this is the part that I don't care for. Uh, it's not a big deal, but um, leveling out. So make sure that you understand where the crest of this hill is. Um, we just about nosedive the GeoPro to get it leveled out. Uh, but it is, it's like an asphalt gravel substance. And your unlevel issue is going to be uh, front to back, not side to side. So uh, that's all you're going to have to contend with. Other than that, it's been a flawless weekend, uh, or I'm sorry, week of camping here at Eisenhower State Park. Well, y'all, as far as insects within the campsite, um, flies have the, been the major um, violator. Whether we're eating or not, the flies just won't leave us alone out here. Bring a bug zapper or something to deal with the flies. A fly swatter would be handy if that's all you have. Um, other than that, we've seen a lot of cardinals um, within the campsite. Uh, here in the bushes on either side and we've seen a lot of butterflies so that's something that you'll look forward to every morning hearing the birds sing uh it, it's a great bonus to this campsite satellite tv's been great y'all no obstructions really uh on-air tv's been great i think we locked into 17 on-air channels uh so susan's been really happy this weekend uh but you, you're gonna love this campsite at&t 
two bars, Verizon, two bars, no issues with cell. We've been able to do everything we need. And I haven't even, uh, I, this is probably the third park I haven't put a cell booster up. So um, it's just kind of been living in the camper for right now. But um, nothing, nothing else about this campsite, y'all, that I can find on a negative. I think you're really going to enjoy 63 quite a bit. Uh, now let's talk about services. So if you need some supplies while you're out here, um, the Eisenhower Yacht Club, they have a marina store down there uh, past the recreation hall where you can get ice and small grocery items um, if you don't feel like driving into Denison. But we just went ahead and we had to get fuel anyway. So we found a Walmart uh, there in Denison off, of, I believe it's exit 69 on Highway 75. So uh, just Walmart's got everything you need, y'all. We, we changed out our, our propane tank there and and refilled our groceries and um everything uh, there's everything you need on that street that runs in front of walmart uh there's a sonic there uh, we got drinks uh dollar general down the street there's a church's chicken we got a box of chicken and brought it back to the campground and so if you need anything it's a short drive guys 10 minutes into denison and and you've got everything that you need well, y'all, another campsite that you may enjoy over here in the Bodark Ridge camping loop is 61. I was really impressed uh, when I pulled in. This site is directly in front of my site, uh, but it's got a really uh, long driveway. Pad sites, gravel, asphalt, any size rig could fit in here. Uh, there's a lot of trees. But you won't have to worry the limbs are trimmed back enough uh, so that your large rig wouldn't come in contact with those but what impresses me about this site y'all is that you've got a lot of cover back here uh, there's some small trails you can see into the meadow uh, which is in the back back there uh, so just like uh, our campsite 63 you'll be able to see the deer in the morning and the afternoons um, Amenities, you get your lantern pole uh, with a double hook, and it looks like the previous guest left a, a little gift. Um, In-ground grill and fire ring, as well as uh, aluminum picnic table on a concrete pad. You don't really need your portable shade shelter here, so you could leave your awning at home or in your camper or truck or what have you. The, the trees really provide enough shade for you. Um, there's plenty of places to put your tent here within this campsite uh, where you would feel cozy or hidden. Uh, so overall, I like this campsite and I would recommend it. It's a pretty cool campsite, y'all. And electric, you get 20, 30, 50 amp electric and water. Oh, and also within here, uh, campsite 61, you also, uh, you get... Uh, sewer all the all the campsites here in Bodark are pull throughs with sewer so that's another great amenity to uh, have with uh, 61 here well y'all here's a behind the scenes look at all the construction that's going on at the Armadillo Hill campground uh, this is your back end sites with electric and water um, all this is getting renovated y'all a brand new restroom and and dump station facility so hopefully when you come out here uh, to eisenhower state park you want to stay in armadillo hill you're gonna have brand new digs this is great y'all well y'all campsite 179 down here at elm point has to be one of the most sought after campsites here at eisenhower state park uh just so beautiful down here you guys get a great place to pop your tent down here you get an aluminum picnic table you don't get a shade shelter over your picnic table uh, but you could bring your own awning, an in-ground grill and fire ring, as well as a lantern pole and hook. And then, uh, of course, you get your water tap here. Uh, but the views are tremendous, y'all. I mean, it's just awesome. Uh, you get a good view of the swimming area down here, as well as the bluffs. Uh, so peaceful. Um, just uh, know that you're probably going to get a lot of traffic through here. Uh, people coming through, sightseeing, and... Uh, but when the traffic dies down and the sightseers go away, all this is yours to go explore. And, uh, you'll see all kinds of birds out here and fish that are splashing in the water. And 
Just so, so serene, so pretty. If you'd like to tent camp with limited services at Eisenhower State Park, uh, Fossil Ridge is a good place for you to do that. This, these are water only sites, y'all. Um, this is 160 and 161. Now this is like the Taj Mahal of, of tent sites. This is really cool, y'all. I'm digging the stonework here that they, they've put into these campsites, but you get an in-ground grill and fire ring you get a nice lantern pole with a hook there, an aluminum picnic table. You don't get any kind of like shelter over your picnic tables here. Um, this is really cool. And then uh, you can pitch your tent. This is 161 that I'm in right now. Uh, you can pitch your tent up there, but uh, well, look at the steps. How cool is this? And then y'all, the cherry on top for both of these campsites is that there is a fishing pier uh, located just to your left down here with some steps that go down uh, to the water. So, I mean, you really get everything right here in these uh, two campsites. So what do you do if you want to stay at Eisenhower State Park and you don't see any campsites? Did you guys know that they have nine campsites that are used as overflow camping? Uh, this is the overflow camping area and uh, sites 180 to 189 uh, are what you're going to look for or ask for. And these overflow sites, they're not shabby, y'all. They don't disappoint. This is 186 we're looking at right here. I uh, just love the stonework here in the yard as well as the steps leading up to um, the campground. Really cool little trail that goes up here, y'all. Um, In-ground grill and fire ring. Uh, more rock features here in the campground itself, in the campsite. Beautiful place to pitch your tent right here. Um, there's your picnic table and your lantern pole and hook. A lot of trees, a lot of brush. This park is full of deer. I promise you, you are not, uh, you're not missing out if you get one of these overflow sites. It's, they're just as good as the other tent camping sites. Uh, just know that this is gonna be more of a primitive situation. You've got no services. You're gonna need to pack whatever water or batteries or what have you, you're gonna need to self-sustain food, stuff like that. So uh, check out one of these overflow sites, y'all. Well, y'all, I'm going to correct myself on this one. Um, the water tap, if you decide to stay in the overflow camping areas, the water tap is in between campsite 186 and 187. It's kind of hidden in the trees here. So it's more like a, like a communal water tap. But you do get water, uh, which is great. So y'all, at Eisenhower State Park, if you don't own an RV, but you still want to participate in the camping experience, they have shelters out here at Deer Haven. Uh, this is Shelter 28. This is a great example of what you get. Uh, some really nice stonework here in the yard. Uh, but you guys get an in-ground grill and firing as well as a water tap. Um, you can see the lake through the trees back here. In fact, there's a private access trail that will take you all the way down there. So that's a plus for this particular shelter. Uh, this shelter is not unlocked, so we can't go in, but... Uh, it's pretty standard with the shelters that you get at most of the state parks, y'all. Um, they give you a picnic table, a concrete pad. There is a light right there, a fire extinguisher, and a broom. So you would need to bring your own cot or some type of blow-up mattress. Uh, but um, pretty cool. Pretty cool option uh, for you if this is something that you might be interested in. Well, y'all, this is the dump station located at the Bodark Ridge uh, Camping Loop over here at Eisenhower State Park. Um, Bodark Ridge is full service, y'all. So you have sewer connections at your campsite. So chances are you won't need to use this small dump station that they have available. But just in case that you do, um, it's located across from the restrooms here. Um, there's not a light out here. They have a single sewer receptacle 
as well as non-potable water to do your flush if needed. Um, the Armadillo Hill camping area, which is electric only, it also has a similar setup. However, right now that camping loop is undergoing a massive uh, renovation. So if you decide to stay in the few sites that they have over there, you will need to uh, bring your rig through here to do your, uh, your dump and your flush. Well, I hope you're enjoying your tour of Eisenhower State Park so far. Go ahead and lace up your hiking boots and I'll show you around the trails. So y'all this morning, we're gonna take advantage of one of the amenities that's close by the Bodark camping area. And that is the Ike Bike and Hike Trail. Uh, this trail is about 3.2 miles in length, uh, but this particular part of the trail picks up at marker five. Uh, so we're gonna explore some of the points of interest along this trail. So y'all come on in and join us. Well, y'all, we're not that far on the Ike Bike and Hike Trail, uh, but we've already seen some changes in the trail. It started out very flat, and now it's moved to a more rocky, hilly type trail. But I wanted to draw your attention over here to the markers. Um, if you match these up on the trail map, uh, these these are um, markers that'll let you know like how difficult those parts of the trails are. Uh, so a big thumbs up to the park for giving us those markers so that we can uh, figure out if it's too strenuous or or what for us on this part of the Ike hike and bike trail uh, You'll enjoy a nice bench here to cool down on a hot day and then also this area is known for its uh, Really o old red oak trees which provide a lot of nutrition for the local wildlife Well, y'all, this is probably one of the most exciting points of interest on the Ike Bike and Hike Trail. Uh, this is what's called Ammonite Crossing. And uh, so Ammonites, they're, they're like index fossils. Uh, and if you guys read this panel, it'll tell you all about it. But this area is full of index fossils. And index fossils are actually 500 million years old. So they predate dinosaurs. Uh, but at one time, this area, um, it was full of uh, like a, a shallow ocean and so beneath our feet there are oyster beds and so you'll find these uh, these fossilized oysters down here so y'all get down here and check check that out it's really really cool Well, y'all, here we are. It's a new day. Uh, here we are again out in front of the trailhead um, by the Bodark Ridge camping area. This is the Ike Bike and Hike Trail. Uh, this is marker number five. Well, y'all, we've licked our wounds, um, literally. Megan fell on the rocks yesterday and scraped her ankle, and I stubbed my toe. Uh, so we're, we're back. We feel good. Uh, we're going to tackle the more challenging portion of this trail today. Uh, which is between markers three and four. So we're going to do this in reverse. We're going to go four, three, two, one, and we're going to finish our hike on the Armadillo Hill Nature Trail. Uh, so y'all come and join us and we'll check out the, uh, the more challenging portion of this Ike Bike and Hike Trail.
we're just barely in on this trail at marker four headed toward marker three and it has gone from a very flat surface to a very rocky surface so i can see why it's living up to its name so we made it y'all this is marker three um and it didn't kick our butts as much as I thought it would. It says challenging on the map between three and four. Really, it's just the rocks that you have to contend with. Uh, you have to cross a creek, maybe a couple of hills to go up and down. Just watch your footing a couple of times. But it certainly does not rise to the level of some of the more challenging trails that we've experienced. Uh, and I'll show you another cool part about reaching the end of marker three is when you come out to the main road, you guys can see the nature trail. We're going to do that right now. Armadillo Hill nature trail. Uh, but if you go to the left, you guys could walk down to the boat ramp and that area down there. Okay, here we go. Armadillo Hill nature trail. This is markers two to one. Um, this is about a mile in length. So y'all come on and we'll check it out. The Armadillo Hill Nature Trail is flat, y'all. It's perfect for families, uh, especially with small children. You guys will love checking out the informative panels they have out here. But uh, one of the things that I want to show you is the Pocket Prairie. I saw this over at Bonham State Park, and to me, it just looks like a really cool place to pitch a tent if you wanted to do some primitive camping. But uh, there's more of a method to the madness to this grass. This is really all that's left of a lot of prairie grassland that used to cover this area. Uh, which is sad it's really cool to look at so make sure when you're out here on the nature trail that you stop by here and, and give it a glance or two well y'all we made it to the end or the beginning uh, because we did this in reverse uh, but this is where you would start this is marker number one what an amazing trail system they have here i highly suggest y'all and it's not too challenging i suggest you do both trails do the armadillo hill nature trail and combine it with the ike bike and hike trail you can do it all in one day. It'll take you a few hours and you will have a satisfying hike here at Eisenhower State Park. Now y'all check this out. Next to the Bodark Ridge uh, Camping Loop restrooms, uh, they have a really cool little horseshoe pit area set up over here. Uh, so this is really neat. So if you if you find that you want to get away from your campsite for a little bit, you want to go have a, a nice little challenging game of horseshoes, uh, come over here to this little field and check it out. Eisenhower State Park is one of the more unique parks that we've visited in that you can bring your all-terrain vehicle out here. 
your four-wheeler, your three-wheeler, your motorcycle, dirt bike. Uh, so these are actually uh, loading and unloading ramps, which is cool. You can back your truck up to it and offload here. Uh, but trail use is limited to off-road motorcycles, ATVs, ROVs, and UTVs, and they can't be any wider than 50 inches. Uh, but they have over three miles of trail here at the Ironweed um, ATV trail system. Uh, they also have some shelters along the way that you can stop at and enjoy uh, the, the beautiful nature around you. Uh, so this is really cool. So if you have an off-road bike or a four-wheeler or something like that you'd like to bring out to uh to the state park this is certainly the place to do it located over in the shelter area at eisenhower state park they have a really nice recreation hall now this is reminiscent of the recreation halls that we see at the ccc parks uh, so it's pretty special that they have this one here uh, but inside of this recreation hall, they have a very large uh, space. That they have a refrigerator in there and a lot of floor space where you could set up and have a, a large group gathering or a party or what have you. Just check with headquarters if you'd be interested in, in renting this space out uh, for your family and friends. Uh, but what's cool over here on the side is they have several picnic tables under these trees. Very well shaded. They have a couple of grills back here if you wanted to do some barbecuing and then uh, a horseshoe pit that's really cool as well and then um, a nice little fire pit back here where you could sit and enjoy a nice fire when there's not a burn ban of course Now y'all always like to highlight the Eagle Scout projects. And when I first walked past this flagpole, I didn't think much about it. I thought, okay, flagpole. Uh, but upon closer inspection, uh, this was actually an Eagle Scout project. So thank you to Jim Caldwell, uh, Troop 435 out of Dallas, Texas. This was built summer of 2006. So very, very cool. Thanks a lot, Jim. Now y'all, I wanted to highlight the uh, Bodark fruit. I know that uh, if you've watched my uh, Bonham State Park video, that uh, they have a trail there called the Bodark Trail. And then of course, Eisenhower State Park has a campground called Bodark Ridge. Uh, but what are these large pieces of fruit? Uh, these very large softball size shaped fruit are also known as uh, horse apples. Now, scientists believe that this is fruit that was intended for a species of animal that no longer exists. Uh, and the reason why is because it's not edible to current animals. Uh, the only portion of it that's edible is the seeds. So once it decays, deer and squirrels will come along and, and pick the seeds out of it. It's not toxic to humans or animals. But if you open it up, um, it has a white texture to it. It's very hard, and it secretes a substance that is it's good for insect repellent. Um, so it's got some use to it, but just not the way that you think. Now, the Native Americans um, would take this, and it's so hard that uh, they would use it to make their bows with, uh, for their bows and arrows. So just, just a fun fact on the Bodark uh, tree and the Bodark fruit, in case you're out here and you see these very large uh, green horse apples, as they call them, on the ground. The Eisenhower Yacht Club not only offers a scenic view of Lake Texoma, but they also have a marina where you can purchase ice, small grocery items, and fuel for your boat. And y'all, another bonus of coming down here to Eisenhower Yacht Club is early in the morning, you get to see deer. So as you guys come down this driveway into the Eisenhower Yacht Club, um, your marina store and fuel dock is gonna be right down here by the water. And that's where you'll get your ice and things and very nice people in there, they'll help you out. Well y'all, the boat ramp area at Eisenhower State Park has a dual lane ramp uh, for your convenience. They have a lot of parking out here uh, for your truck and trailer. And then um, 
they also have a nice little sitting area over here with a couple of benches if you want to just come out and watch the ducks or the other wildlife, birds, what have you. Now, y'all, the road that I'm on right here is the very next drive past the Bodark Ridge camping area. If you go past these private boat houses, um, you'll find a lighted fishing pier down here. In fact, there's some guys down there fishing this morning. Uh, but they have a small parking area down there. Um, and the, this is really close to your campsite. So you can drive down here. Uh, you could bike or walk down here with your gear, whichever you choose. Or you can just come down here and take in the sights. So if you're staying in Fossil Ridge in that campground, or if you're out here on the Ike hike and bike trail and you have your fishing gear with you, if you'll follow these steps down, you guys will have a, a very private uh, view of Lake Texoma, as well as a nice uh, fishing pier. Now, y'all, you've had a productive weekend of fishing here at Eisenhower State Park on Lake Texoma. And now it's time to clean your catch. You want to get everything processed right away? Well, they've got you covered. They have a fish cleaning station here. And it's really nice, too, y'all. Uh, it's, it's covered. It's screened. Uh, so you're going to be enclosed in here while you're taking care of your business. You guys have a light up here. There's a shelf for you to set some things uh, while you're doing your prep or what have you. A broom to clean up. Nice concrete table with some water there. You can rinse everything down. And y'all, let me tell you, they do a really good job. There's a trash can there to get rid of your trash. It doesn't stink in here. Some parks you go to, you got flies everywhere, and there's remnants of old fish scales and everything else. Nah, it doesn't, not here, y'all. It's super clean. You're going to enjoy doing your fish cleaning in here. Really great space. The swimming area at Eisenhower State Park is really cool, y'all. Uh, and it has one of the more unique uh, entrances. It's a pretty far uh, walk down to the swimming area, but the payoff is, is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. So uh, come on and follow me, and we'll, we'll take this trail down there. Okay, so just off of the uh, trail down to the swimming area, y'all, you'll see there's another trail here. This is the Ike uh, Hike and Bike Trail. Uh, so this trail crosses the swimming area. So if you wanted to go swimming, you could bring your swimming gear with you on your hike.
the steps that lead down to the swimming area are really cool. This is one of the more unique features of this particular swimming area. All right, y'all, we made it down. So that was reminiscent of uh, Pedernales Falls State Park and the, and the really beautiful stonework that they put into um, their steps that lead down to the swimming area at that park. But uh, you really feel surrounded. It's like being in a bowl down here. You have a lot of large boulders down here. Uh, of course, right up here is Lover's Leap. And there's some really great campsites up there. Uh, that you guys can uh that y'all can rent but when you talk about a sandy beach y'all i mean it doesn't get any better than this and the water here at lake texoma it is so clear y'all it's just a great place to come and swim uh, your children are going to love this area so y'all make sure y'all come in come and check out the swimming area at eisenhower state park Eisenhower State Park has to have one of the coolest day use areas, y'all. They have a lot of picnic tables and standing grills that are interspersed within the woods here. Uh, they're all located off the uh, the Ike Hike and Bike Trail. But uh, let me show you what has to probably be the best picnic spot at this entire park. Now y'all check that view out. How amazing is that? So the next time you want a picnic here at Eisenhower State Park, come down here to the edge of the water, grab this picnic table, and you will have an amazing view. In addition to some really scenic uh, picnic tables here on the water, they also have a great uh, swing set and playground area. And if you're staying over here at Elm Point, this whole area is gonna be within walking distance of your campground. Uh, so you have a really large field here, green space that you can bring your dogs over. Uh, there's a bench if you want to sit and watch your children play or just sit and watch wildlife. If you're considering having a large family and friend gathering, uh, maybe a family reunion or something like that, the Cedar Hollow Group uh, Pavilion would be perfect for you guys. They have a grill out here for you to do some barbecuing. A lot of picnic tables out here. It's very pretty, y'all. And then they have their own restroom facility located in the back, as well as the amphitheater, which is located over in the corner. Well, y'all, I just love this little field here at the entrance of the Bodark Ridge camping area. I don't know, something's just really cool about it. Uh, the trees and uh, plenty of green space. I just see a little baseball or softball game going on out here. It looks really cool. Well, that leads me into activities. Uh, what What is there to do at Eisenhower State Park? Well, Lake Texoma is here, so I think the first thing you need to do if you own a boat is bring your boat out here. Uh, they have plenty of uh, boat trailer parking. You know, you can launch your boat here and then do some fishing and skiing on the lake. Uh, they have a swimming area that's one of the coolest swimming areas in the state. So definitely water sports is a big one here. Definitely a number one on your list. Number two, I would have to put uh, the hiking trails, the uh, Ike bike and hike trail as well as armadillo hill combine those trails together and you will get a solid day's worth of hiking or you can do like we did and you can break it up and do it in a couple of days um, four hours five hours tops you'll have it all done great trails here highly recommend that 
Number three, um, being unique as it is, they have the ATV trails here. Definitely, if you have an ATV, an off-road uh, motorcycle or four-wheeler or something like that, bring it out here. Uh, the ramps are really cool for you to load and offload. Uh, over three miles of trails, uh, the Ironwood trail system, got to check that out, got to do that. And then, uh, of course, your bicycle. Your kids will love the uh, the streets here without within the camping loop. Uh, plenty of places to ride. Saw a lot of kids riding this weekend. Saw a lot of couples just getting out and walking um, and enjoying time at your campsite. Those are all really good viable activities that you can do while you're here at Eisenhower State Park. As a follow-up, I also wanted to mention if you are really uh, a big into fossils and looking for fossils, uh, this park is so cool to do that. Uh, they have uh, a lot of different places where you can search for ammonite. Um, you'll find uh, oyster beds. Uh, stuff's really old, y'all. Get out there on the trails, on the Ike uh, bike and hike trail, and uh, as well as the nature trail. And you can, you can read all about it with the informative panels that they have. You can experience it uh, hands-on. Um, there is a place, the Ammonite Crossing, where you will see some examples uh, of some of the, um, the different fossils that have been picked up in that area. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, you kind of like the science of coming out to the parks, then uh, this is definitely one of those parks to explore, kind of like Dinosaur Valley State Park. Well, y'all had an amazing visit uh, here at Eisenhower State Park. This is such a beautiful park. I can't wait to get back out here. But y'all, it's time for me to hit the trail. I'm gonna take a couple of weeks off, get the Geo Pro cleaned up, and then it's time to celebrate my 25th wedding anniversary to my sweetheart, Susan. So Susan, I love you very much. Uh, but listen guys, if you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every Saturday at 6 p.m. when our videos post. To all my current subscribers, guys, you rock so much. I appreciate your support. And to all my future subscribers, guys, what are you waiting for? I see a lot of cool parks like Eisenhower State Park. So remember to subscribe. And remember, I'll see you at the campsite.